Well, welcome everyone to this fabulous rooftop of a monumental uh, announcement. And that announcement we will get to in a minute. But my name is Debbie Raffel, and I'm the director of the San Francisco Department of Environment. And today I am joined by President London Breed and by Don Falk, the CEO of the Tenderloin Neighborhood Development Corporation, affectionately known as TNDC. And we've got with us representatives of some of the dozens of community partners. We've got uh, the library here. We have our light bulb company manufacturer, not manufacturer, but seller here. So we've got the whole system on the roof today to celebrate this amazing event. I have the fabulous job of being in a department, leading a department that takes big ideas and make sure those big ideas are translated into actions on the ground. And we're here because of one of those big ideas. Last year, the Department of the Environment set an ambitious goal. We wanted to get 100,000 LED light bulbs into the hands of people who needed them most. And it's just like this one happened to have here. So when you look at this light bulb, Many of us just see a light bulb, nothing very spectacular looking at that. But our goal was to get this gem, this little light bulb, into the hands of residents who are low income, formerly homeless, disabled, veterans, people with disabilities, all San Franciscans. We wanted everyone in San Francisco to have the opportunity to benefit from this, what seemingly small action. We didn't only want to deliver bulbs to people. We needed to make sure that they were actually installed. It does no good to give somebody a beautiful bulb and have them put it in their storage closet for later. We needed to make sure that these were actually put into place. This project at this scale had never been tried anywhere in the United States. 100,000 bulbs is certainly ambitious. So, how can a light bulb make a big difference? It's such a seemingly small thing. Well, let me give you some facts. First, facts about LEDs. They use one-sixth of the energy. They cost less to power because they're so energy efficient. They reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And they last 25 times longer. Those are some impressive facts. So what are the facts for residents? That means that for a person who puts an LED light bulb in a fixture, they need 25 less light bulbs that they're ever going to have to install because these last so long. And that difference gives tremendous safety and opportunity for people, especially who are mobility challenged. Picture your elderly grandmother and a light bulb goes out, how is she going to change that light bulb? Or a person with a disability and a light bulb goes out, what are they to do? It also means that our most vulnerable will not be left in the dark should something like that happen because these light bulbs are so longer lasting. And even more important and equally uh, impactful is that the quality of the light is so much better. So people who have a hard time seeing all of a sudden can see. So something as simple as a light bulb can actually transform somebody's sense of well-being, their sense of safety, and their ability to enjoy life. And what does this mean? What are the facts for the affordable housing providers? It means if they don't have to change a light bulb, that it's reduced costs for operations and maintenance. It frees up thousands of hours in terms of bulb replacements so that those maintenance people can work on delivering other services. It doesn't mean that they're sitting there uh, playing solitaire. They are incredibly busy people. So not having to change a light bulb means they can tend to all sorts of needs of the people in the buildings that they work with. So this small action actually has tremendous ripple effects. Ripple effects that support our community in so many ways. And I am proud to announce today that we have 60,000 light bulbs that have been distributed in affordable housing sites, in SROs, and in multifamily apartment buildings, and single family homes. We are making history today. We are saving energy. We are saving uh, the climate by reducing our greenhouse gas emissions. 
We are delivering benefits to those who need it most, and we are improving the quality of life for all Californians. And I am incredibly honored to introduce to you and to welcome somebody who truly gets it in every bone of her body. This is a woman who cares about vulnerable communities every day of her life. She understands that environmental benefits must be available to everyone in San Francisco. President London Breed has championed environmental initiatives like safe medicine disposal, clean power SF, and the styrofoam ban. And she continues to champion these initiatives, especially ones that protect the environment as well as health and safety. So please, let's welcome President London Breed. Thank you. Thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you, Debbie, very much for this initiative. I'm really excited to especially be on this property because this was a part of RAD Phase 1, where we have been able to rehabilitate thousands of public housing units all over San Francisco. So some of you may know I grew up in public housing. I lived there more than 20 years of my life without showers, with rodent problems and, and other challenges that exist with no help on the way. When I first became a member of the Board of Supervisors, I told the mayor, Mayor Lee, that public housing was my number one priority and he believed me and he supported me. And we work together with so many nonprofit organizations who help with housing like TNDC and Don Falk to rehabilitate public housing. So the site we stand on is connected to another site and because of the work we've been able to do, 60 residents, 60 units, which include over 100 residents, they now have a clean, affordable, safe, rehabilitated place to call home. And I'm so proud of the work that Don and TNDC has done to make that dream a reality. So thank you so very much. You know, we are doing in San Francisco what we do best, fight climate change. And as Debbie has said, we have, and, and, and through the efforts of the Board of Supervisors that I've been so fortunate to lead, we have basically introduced, or we have passed legislation uh, with the toughest styrofoam ban in the city. We have passed legislation for our safe medical disposal, which keeps tons of unused and expired medication out of the bay and landfill. We have, we're, we're getting to zero with waste and reducing the amount of waste in the black bins and focusing more on recyclables as well as our uh, green bins, which I know sometimes don't smell very good, but <laughs> it's saving the planet. Um, and, and we have passed, after 12 years of fighting Clean Power SF, the single most important thing that we could do to combat climate change. San Francisco has been an environmental leader all over the country. And so this is why I am so excited about this program and what this will do. It's a greater initiative to try and make sure, especially in our most vulnerable communities where you know seniors are on a fixed income, where they can't always afford to not only purchase light bulbs on a regular basis, but sometimes they have challenges with replacing those light bulbs. And so I'm really excited for this incredible opportunity to not only make sure that we are providing these free of charge to our most vulnerable residents, but we are also taking it a step further. And so I know Michael Lambert is here from the San Francisco Public Library. And so I am really, really excited that the library is our partner in this effort. And as a result of the work done by the Department of the Environment and the San Francisco Public Library, we are announcing that there will be free light bulbs. <laughs> there will be free, oh, I'm supposed to grab this box, <laughs> okay. There will be the opportunity for residents of San Francisco to pick these up at any public library in San Francisco <laughs> while supplies last. <laughs> and let me just say this, there is one catch. You've got to have a library card. So sign up, check out a book, return the book, get your light bulbs while supplies last. I mean, what, this is like one of the best 
things that San Francisco can offer to its residents. The goal is, of course, we want to combat climate change. But more importantly, we want to make sure that these bulbs and access to things like this that are usually typically expensive, that all San Franciscans have the benefit of accessing them, whether they're able to pay for them or not. And so there are how many libraries in San Francisco? 28. 28. I know the Western Edition is one of my favorites. We have one on Larkin, the biggest library in the city, our main branch, and others in, in local communities. Stop by use your library card for this great opportunity. And, and let me just say that um, these light bulbs make a difference, as, as Debbie mentioned before, because I know Maya is an artist and for 10 years didn't have the light that he needed to paint. And so that's one of the stories I've heard about as a result of the changes in his light bulbs and the brightness in his home, he's able to paint again. Um, paint is better than he's had been able to before. And so I think, you know, as someone who ran an art center who understands those kinds of needs, I mean, what an amazing change um, a light bulb can do in somebody's life, as well as young people, getting young people excited about the opportunity to take these bulbs home to their parents to try and use those. So I, I just think this is an incredible program. I'm excited about this opportunity. I'm so glad that there are so many people here today and hopefully we can get the word out to residents all over San Francisco that this is an incredible opportunity. San Francisco is a step further in addressing climate change. We will continue to do all we can to address this particular issue with bold, creative initiatives that will continue to allow us to be a leader in environmental issues throughout the country. So thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you, President Bree. That was wonderful and totally inspires and motivates me to think about what is possible when we have bold leaders like President Breed who are willing to put us out there and keep us moving forward so that we continue to be on the cutting edge of environmental protection. So this initiative, as President Breed said, is about community. And there are many of you in the audience today who are part of our community story. In fact, we partnered with 45 community organizations and city agencies. So would you please raise your hand if you are part of our community of communities and to right now, raise your hand. Well, hi. Oh, wonderful. Let's give you a, a thank you. Thank you for your support and partnership. And we're at a very special place today uh, and with a very special person as well, Don Falk of TNDC. TNDC has been a phenomenal partner and Don and his team have blown me away with not only their commitment to the mission of supplying housing, but their willingness to work with us to help us as a city agency make things even better for their residents. It's truly a partnership and I think we each elevate each other as we get to know one another, community and government together. The mission of TNDC is completely aligned with sustainability and environmental stewardship. And it's understanding the importance of that intersection that is going to enable this planet to heal itself. Nothing, we can have nothing less than an understanding that it's everyone's role to think about these issues day in and day out. And TNDC has already installed 2,400 LED light bulbs. So they, they are committed. Don's staff is committed. So let's welcome Don Falk. Thank you for that warm introduction. And thank you, President Abreed, for your leadership on all of these issues. Uh, let me start with a few words about TNDC. We're a nonprofit developer, owner, manager, and service provider with over 3,600 homes in the Tenderloin and throughout San Francisco. Over 80% of our tenants have incomes under $1,500 a month. In San Francisco, under $1,500. And nearly 25% entered our housing coming out of homelessness. Every day, our staff of 400 people is working with San Francisco's most vulnerable and marginalized people. 951 Eddy Street is former public housing that under the leadership of President Breed and the late Mayor Lee. 
TNDC acquired and renovated and now operates as permanently affordable housing. In these two buildings, here and next door, live a hundred seniors and people with disabilities, including many frail elderly people. In 2012, TNDC entered the National Better Buildings Challenge, where we committed to reduce energy consumption in our portfolio by 20% over the following 10 years. TNDC is well underway to meet this goal, and the Department of the Environment has been a critical partner in the work. Since 2016, we have converted five properties to 100% LED lighting. These five properties represent over a thousand homes in which, with the support of the Department of the Environment, we installed those 2,400 LED bulbs. In partnership and with support with the support of the Department of Environment, in 2018, we will install bulbs in another seven properties. And of course, it's the impact on people of the work that matters most. And it begins with the idea that LED bulbs last 25 times longer than incandescent bulbs. So that saves money for tenants who need every single dollar. Every dollar matters. It also reduces maintenance staff hours spent on light bulbs because thinking of these old buildings, to replace a light bulb here requires two people and a ladder. So it makes the affordable housing more affordable both for us as operators and for tenants, and those cost reductions are permanent. And it's important not to overlook that LED bulbs are brighter, which is especially uh, important for older people. These bulbs make a daily difference in the quality of life for our tenants. This project delivers all of that without even talking about the environment. So the project represents the kind of public-private partnership that is a win-win win. Financial savings to low-income people, better lighting and visibility, and of course a more environmentally responsible way of operating. And how great to be making this announcement during April Earth Month. So uh, before closing I just want to acknowledge and recognize and encourage you to seek out after our event here three of the people who were instrumental in bringing this about. Ruchi Cha, Cynthia Alvarez, and Paris McBride of Teen DC staff. On their behalf and on behalf of all of TNDC, we're grateful for the city support and proud to be of service to our community and being stewards of the environment. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Don. Thank you, Ruchi. Thank you, Paris. Thank you, Cynthia. Amazing team at TNDC. I want to give a few other shout outs uh, for people who are here, Kristen, from uh, education outside. We have the San Francisco Unified School District and we're working with them to distribute 20,000 of the bulbs and we're not making it easy on those students. We are making sure that they have uh, understanding of what we are giving them. So when they get a box like this, it comes with a curriculum and it comes with a homework assignment. Make sure you install this back at home. Explain to your parents what a treasure this box is in terms of improving the quality of life at home. So thank you, San Francisco Unified School District. I also want to uh, mirror uh, President Breed thanking the libraries. Uh, Michael Lambert, who is the uh, acting city librarian, and his team who is here today are phenomenal partners, not only are they allowing us to distribute at their 28 branch libraries and their bookmobiles? They're allowing us to store pallets of light bulbs as we try and figure out how to get them throughout the city. So thank you for that. And I also want to say that not only is it Earth Month, but it turns out it's National Library Week this week. And even more amazing, it is National Bookmobile Day. So when you go downstairs and you see the bookmobile, give the driver a little bit of extra love because it is National Bookmobile Day and we are distributing light bulbs in bookmobiles too. And I'm told that the theme this year of National Library Week is Libraries Lead. And of course, I'm sure they spelled that L-E-D. So as President Breed said, it's while supplies last. So people, go out, bring your library card, and get some wonderful light bulbs. 
I also want to acknowledge a very important partner to us, and that is PG&E. So the way PG&E came into this story is they issued a challenge to San Francisco. They said, if you can step up and bring tremendous benefits of energy efficiency to at least 600 businesses in a small amount of time, we will give you a prize, an award. So of course, we're competitive people. We took that challenge, and of course, being the overachievers that we are in the city of San Francisco, we beat that 600 by quite a bit, and we made significant benefits to our business, small and medium-sized business communities. We are taking that prize money, and we are putting it back in the community. So there's a beautiful cycle here between the benefits to the businesses and the benefits to the residents. We're taking that money, and we are using it it to improve the lives of all San Franciscans. So thank you, PG&E, for that belief in us and for allowing us to prove ourselves again. I want to thank my team, Luke and Becca, raise your hands. So they are intrepid, uh, tenacious, passionate professionals. They are the ones who figured out how to get light bulbs at a cost that we could uh, bring it down enough to get 100,000 bulbs. The distributors are here as well from Buckles Smith, Smith Buckles, did I say it? How do I say it? Smith Buckles, thank you. Buckle Smith, it's the names. <laughs> Anyway, Buckle Smith is here in the house and they are important partners because not only did we say to them, can you please bring the price way down? We also said, can you please redesign the box because we want to be able to hold it? And then can you please put our uh, images on the box because we want people to understand what they're supposed to do with light bulbs? And they said yes, yes, and yes. So they are amazing partners and we're so grateful to them. I want to truly thank our president, London Breed, for her leadership, for her inspiration, for her belief in us as a department, for her belief and commitment in the city that we can always do better. It inspires and motivates us every day. I want to thank our host, TNDC, for being the inspiration that they are. And I also want to thank all the organizations who made this a reality. Our future is brighter with LEDs. Thank you for joining us today.